Today we're at Al Maria Circuit and we're going to be taking the new S1000RR on track. The pressure's on now. Now, now I'm with the racers. Don't you love it when you're dropped in the deep end? I don't know where the bloody circuit's going. I'm all over the road. I ain't got an absolute scooby where I'm going. Like a hickey doing a pillion ride. Now when you can't keep up when someone's got a pillion on the back, you're in the wrong group. So I get to follow Kate. Let's see what happens. The pace is picking up. Here we go. Where's Kate then? Have you seen Kate? Is she back? Where's Kate? We've had a little spot of lunch now, a bit of paella. Was all right, nothing to write home about. I said the food on this whole trip's been nothing to write home about. But this one has the standard wheels. Standard wheels, so they're not, not forged, not carbon standard. So it'll be really interesting to see if I can notice any difference. And I'm going out in group two now. Um, Motor Bob, English Biker Dan, and Tim Rhodes there. So we're gonna go out with these boys. I was out with Kate in the last session and unfortunately, you know, we were both pushing and unfortunately she came off, um, bashed her hand up a little bit. I feel absolutely terrible because, you know, we were both out there and encouraging each other. She was going really quick. Um, but yeah, she came off. She's all right. You know, she's really annoyed with herself. Um, but yeah, it's just I feel a bit guilty because we were both encouraging each other to be a bit naughty you know and I said to her you know you were going so fast you know you're going so well you know that you're getting to the stage and it could happen to me just as easily that you can easily make mistakes you know because you're pushing you're pushing hard you know and when you start to push is when these things happen and you don't know the limits until you reach them you know so I feel really bad for Kate obviously she's sitting out now she's all bandaged up and but um yeah she's uh, she's not not very happy with herself. I love that last session, and I'm, I'm, it's such a shame that Kate came off because of, it was it was unbelievable. It was incredible. Um, you know, we were both really going, but you know, I guess that's when these things can go wrong when you when you push into the limits. You know, so setting myself down now, out of the races group, back into the the road riding group. You know, with this video, you know, I'm here to talk about this bike, and when you when you're out there, you're just concentrating on learning the track and riding. It's it's hard to mention the bike, and you know, it's such a good bike. It is, you know, I'm so impressed with this. I mean, Kate's little off was she basically ran out of track, so she she ran off of the rumbles and went onto the dirt and had a bit of a lean on, and the the bars went and and she went for a bit of a tumble, you know, about 70 miles an hour. But you know, it's not the bike's fault. It's all, we all got a little bit excited. And it happens, you know. If you're gonna push on track, you know, it happens. And unfortunately, what's worse for Kate is she hasn't even got the footage. The GoPro stops just a few moments before the crash. It, it must, well, it, I think it was ripped off her helmet and also when it hit the deck, um, I think it sort of corrupted the, the moments before the the crash as well so yeah I, so she's annoyed she's not even got the uh, got the footage but i do feel for her so okay if you're watching this i hope you're feeling a bit better now and uh but for what it's worth you were quick and i was loving being sat behind you it looked amazing you know don't beat yourself up about it you were fast i think it was here she basically ran out of track here I think it was this one. Oh yeah, I can see, yeah, it might have been in there. That uh, She might have been in there. That was where she went in. Dan's going straight on. <laughs> Daniel! Peace 
Hans Hickman. Guys, I'm not talking too much here because this does take quite a lot of concentration. Oh, I need a bit more of that. Peter's like, let's go faster, let's go faster until let's see how fast this fat knacker can go. About this fast meter. That was really cool. A couple of laps behind Peter Higman and Almeria. That's not something you get to do every day. Oh man. Hackard. So it's time for the uh, F900. Rather excited about this one. Rather excited about this. This is a proper race bike. This is the when you come back in, just kill it on the switch for us. Yeah, okay, no worries. And we'll, we'll grab it because there's no side stand. Right, no worries. I have your paddock stand. <laughs> yeah, my paddock stand for the, for the next 10 minutes. So yeah, these are in the supporting championship of BSB this year. Jump there, round the left. What, okay, yeah. I'm assuming these are, I guess these are race shift when they're in... <laughs> okay. She's all right, she's all right. I guess it needs to be in race shift when they're in, when used on track. And uh, they've got a quick shifter. Yeah. But it feels weird after riding the double R. It feels very, very upright compared to the double R. Very different. Oh, I need that, it's got some lean to it. Bloody noise it makes, it's so loud! It's incredibly loud! So loud! Oh, these are going to be fantastic! Great racing, one of these are! My favourite corner! You can feel there's a bit more weight transfer where you've got a bit more suspension. as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Woohoo! Oh listen to it. Listen to it on the on that pipe. This is so loud. It's easier to flip flop this through there than the riding this is so much more less energetic than the double R, so much lighter I guess. This is brilliant. That's it, that's all I got, three laps. What an experience. That's the first proper race bike I've ever ridden. 
into it. That was a lot of fun. You got it? Yeah, that's fantastic. Good. Brilliant. Sorry, I didn't kill it, did I? Cheers, thank you very much for that. That's awesome. It's awesome, really good. Feels so different. Now you got used to the double R, it's like, oh my god, it feels really weird. Yeah. It's to start with. It takes a lap just to think, get dial into the different bike. Yeah, yeah. And it feels much lighter for that for that flip-flop, it's like yeah. on that. And it feels hard, the suspension feels longer travel and it, it feels, it feels yeah. well no, it feels hard because it's all okay. but it just you can just notice the extra bit of travel. Yeah, yeah. It takes a little while just to dial into it. Yeah. How much power is it burning out? 105. It feels so much quicker than that, doesn't it? Map, that's like yeah, it's it's yeah. really really nice. It's really really nice. It takes look, it's a bit weird because you're not you know you because it's completely different to the double R. So it takes it takes a good half a lap to think. Oh my god, there you know. Is it but easy to move across, like, move not as easy as the double R, I'd say. But it's uh, once you once you do half a lap on it, it's like oh wow, this is the brakes are amazing. Yeah, it's really really good. It's really really good. And it sounds it just sounds incredible. Yeah, pop some bangs. Road shift, so they must have they must have swapped it for road shift. You've had to go on it, Rob, you gonna have a go on it? Nah, no, I'm gonna get a video with the pajamas. RR because <laughs> huh? you're in your pajamas. Yes, yes mate. <laughs> it's so good when you're filming to wear joggers. You yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 so right. show off. Literally just <laughs> these young guys. Oh, did you? <laughs> You'd be half taking it out of it. So this is the last session of the day. Everyone's just had a bit of a talking to about not going too mental, not crashing. Um, I'm not sure we could, we're allowed to even overtake from what they're saying, I don't know. I don't know, so this is maybe, might be a bit more slow and steady, let's see how we do. So I need to tag on to somewhere. Hope you guys go behind Josh. Okay, great. Josh Brooks. So oh, last session of the day. It's been such an incredible day this, I mean, it's so nice to, I mean it's been my dream to sort of come to a, a Spanish circuit in the sort of winter, you know, and it's been so fantastic to be invited here and get a chance to ride around this incredible circuit on these incredible bikes, so massive thanks to, to BMW for the invitation here, you know, it's been so good, I better be careful because I'm not sure if this bike was out last time and the tyres are warm or not. I mean the circuit is really amazing. Very technical, it's not my favourite circuit because I'm not sure I like, like really technical circuits but <laughs> it's still amazing. Uh, it's a really flowing circuit. <laughs> that core, that left hander. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Gone down enough gear to my bloody third. Second round here, really. The brakes! Just had a second. Ready to rip. We're doing on the straight, I think. I'm just going to try on. Shorty shifty. And then we've got the back straight now. Get a power down. Leave some backies. That's the feather here going very slow.
two corners, amazing. This corner, amazing. It goes on forever, incredible. This corner, amazing. This blind one, off camber, not so amazing. Getting used to it. This left hander, amazing. Should have gone out a bit more there. This corner here, disgusting. in the pants off of that. Me down. Oh man. XR is impressive, isn't it? Contact lens is rattling out of position. It's quite long to lean that. Grip the tank, that's a hell of a lot. Hell of a lot of lean. I mean the brakes, hammering the brakes on these. No brake fade, nothing. I know these have got the new calipers, these have got like the M calipers now. Absolutely incredible. I and mean, the brakes are always good before the haze brakes. But I'm not sure whether they would have taken this sort of hammering. These are beautiful fields for these brakes. Absolutely amazing. Oh yeah. Such a flowing circuit, most of it. Oh. We're getting naked now. Oh.
love this one. Oh, they love it. Look at me. Oh, on the back, sliding. Oh, yeah. Now. I might be done now. I will not be able to move for a week after this. I've got to shift all the furniture out of the house tomorrow. Have a new floors laid. I'm going to be too bad. Wow, what a day. What a day this has been. Absolutely incredible. This bike is so easy to ride when I mean, you just got that feeling it's got your back you know it's flashing away the traction control on here and it's just like yeah it's got you covered dude go a bit deeper push a bit harder i've got you you know break into the corner more i've got you it's so so good and people say oh it's almost too good it's boring boring you know that That was so good. So, so good. Absolutely loved it. Oh, 